Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the screen protectors for the Fitbit Charge 2. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel as it helps me out a lot and I'm really trying to get to my next milestone. Let's get into the video. What we have here is my Fitbit Charge 2 with some screen light screen protectors. I've already opened them as I've already put one of these on my girlfriend's Fitbit. I had my Fitbit for about two weeks and then I noticed there was some scratches on the screen as the screen of the Fitbit is made from hard coated plastic not from anything stronger like Gorilla Glass it means that it is pretty prone to scratching. As you can see here in the red circles I've already got two scratches on my screen. So the solution to this is putting a screen protector on to prevent this from happening either in the first place or prevent any further damage from happening. So what we've got here is the screen light screen protectors. These claim that it ut utilizes advanced technology used to protect Air Force helicopter propeller blades. This gives the material a combination of strength and durability. What you get in the pack is six screen protectors, a microfiber cloth and a plastic squeegee to make sure you get a clean and good application. The first thing you need to do with any application of a screen protector is give the screen itself a really good clean using the included microfiber cloth. This ensures that any dust, marks or fingerprints are taken off the screen. Be careful once you've done this not to put your fingers back on the screen as these will be seen underneath the screen protector once it's applied. To apply the screen protector, peel it off from the pack and align the bottom of it with the bottom of the Fitbit body, making sure that it is level. Otherwise, once it goes down all the way, it will be off at an angle towards the top of the Fitbit. So once you've aligned it all correctly, use the squeegee to press down on the screen protector as this will secure it in place. Once you've done this and it's all aligned, carry on using the squeegee to get rid of any air bubbles that are underneath the screen protector. As this isn't a tempered glass screen protector, the air bubbles don't disappear straight away by themselves. So use the squeegee to rub down on the screen and get rid of as many as you can. This process may take a few minutes, however once you've done this the rest of the bubbles will disappear after a period of about 24 hours. And once it's applied, as you can see it is hardly noticeable that it's even on your Fitbit, but it does give it that protection that it does desperately need as the screen is made from plastic and not from something stronger like Gorilla Glass. It has no impact on the functionality of the tap function on the screen it works just as it normally would before you applied a screen protector. If your Fitbit is suffering from scratches on the screen then I highly recommend you get one of these screen protectors. I will leave it linked down below where you can purchase one. Having said that you can purchase the replacement band if you fancy one of those. I'll leave the video linked to that as well and in that you do get four free screen protectors. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel as it helps me out a lot. Like it, share it, and I'll see you in the next video.